Greetings, greetings, greetings and salutations one and all. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the end of another Night Shift week right here on the Night Shift with DJ Kevin Steele. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Happy hump day to you, each and everyone. Glad to have you. Those locked in on TuneIn Radio, the Night Shift with DJ Kevin Stew and affiliates all over the globe. PEMG TV. Big ups, big ups, big ups to you. And of course, those here at home of the Night Shift with DJ Kevin Stew, KevinStew.com. Glad to have you. Couldn't do it without you. And you have my word. I would not even try. I, I, I love all your wine. I love all your, love all your wine. I love all your wine. I love all your, love all your wine. Yeah, I kind of like it. Say thanks to Pulsey Media Group for sponsoring this segment of the show. When being in the moment is priceless, just go ahead and give them a call. What can they do for you? Everything you see right here on KevinStew.com and so much more. They can take care of your streaming, they can capture your events. They can give you the the option of broadcasting live on your own channel. Yeah, kind of fancy, right? Let's get him a call, 754-999-6020 or visit him at paulcmg.com. What feelings you catch in? And are you catching those feelings just because of the way I look? Just because of the way I act? You're acting on those feelings? How are you acting on those feelings? The son of Nadia Batson. Feet. It's called catching feelings. catching feelings. Thank you, Nadia. All right, I know you're catching feelings because you know I I I have that kind of personality. I understand. Don't worry. I don't. I won't hold it against you. But when those feelings are 
not the warm, bubbly, fuzzy kind of feelings. Now, we're looking at something else. Prejudice is an unjustified or incorrect attitude, usually a negative one, towards an individual based solely on an individual's membership of a social group. For example, a person may hold prejudiced views towards a certain race or gender, being sexist. Now, discrimination is the behavior or actions usually negative towards an individual or a group of people, especially on the basis of sex, race, social class, or you know any of those things that typically divide groups. Now, why are we talking about this? In light of all that is going on around us right now, I feel it necessary to raise some awareness to prejudices and, and, and dis- discrimination and look a little bit deeper into it, you know, what, 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 what causes it? Where does it come from? Do you understanding it, so to speak, um, so that we could have a better idea of recognizing it, a better way of recognizing it and a better way of, of dealing with it, handling it. Discrimination is the behavior or actions usually negative towards individuals or groups of people. The, the I should do attraction versus feelings. <laughs> Welcome, Marlon, host of Real Rockers. Uh, broadcast each and every Monday and Wednesday from 7 to 10 p.m. It's it's the perfect warm-up show to the night shift, I can tell you. And and this year, uh, Real Talk is also known as Marlon's favorite night shift show. So, welcome Marlon, glad to have you in the stew pot. Now, prejudice, let's, let's first of all get an idea of the difference between prejudice and discrimination. Prejudice, being prejudice, is the attitude. It is the mindset. Discrimination is the action as a result of that mindset. You get it? Okay. So, a prejudiced person may not act on their attitude. Therefore, someone can be prejudiced towards a certain group, but not discriminate against them. Also, prejudice includes all three components of an attitude. Affective, behavioral, and cognitive. Whereas discrimination just involves behavior. So, you know, it's kind of complicated. It goes kind of deep. But we're going to try to dissect it as much as possible as we go through tonight. There are four main types, four main explanations of prejudice and discrimination. Authoritarian personality. Realistic conflict theory. uh, Stereotyping. And social identity theory. Conformity could also be used as a as an exa- explanation of prejudice if you get stuck, say, <laughs> writing a psychology essay. Uh, some examples of discrimination are like racial discrimination, where you have apartheid, which literally is separateness. Apartheid was a system of racial segregation that was enforced in South Africa from 1948 to 1994. Non-white people were prevented from voting and lived in separate communities. World War II in Germany and German-controlled lands, Jewish people were, had to wear yellow stars to identify themselves as Jews. Later, the Jews were placed in concentration camps by the Nazis. So, those are examples of racial discrimination. And even today, 
you find cases of, of racial discrimination going on. You know, we look at, at China, what they're doing with the black people, the people from Africa, Nigeria, and such, um, from countries out of the continent of Africa, where they're putting them out of hotels, putting them out of their homes, um, not allowing them to shop in certain stores. That's, that's discrimination. And then you have age discrimination. This is a type of discrimination against a person or group on the grounds of age. You have gender discrimination. In Western societies, while women are often discriminated against in the workplace, men are often discriminated against in the home and family environments. For instance, after a divorce, you would normally find women receive primary custody of the children far more often than men. Women on average earn less pay than men doing the same job. So that's discrimination. It's the act. Conformity as an explanation of prejudice and discrimination looks something like this. You have Influences that cause individuals to be racist or sexist. Example, um, may come from peers, students, and, and, and group memberships. Conforming to social norms means people adopt the quote-unquote normal set of behaviors associated with a particular group or society. Social norms or behavior considered appropriate within a social group are one possible influence on prejudice and discrimination. People may have prejudiced beliefs and feelings and act in a prejudiced way because they are conforming to what is regarded as normal in social groups to which they belong. So you'll find the child growing up in the home of the white supremacist being Discrimi well, acting in a discriminatory way. And it's not necessarily because they are really that way, but because they were con they're conforming to their culture. That is the way they are. Uh, you have... I'll, I'll <laughs> Here we go. As, as having this discussion earlier. You have Jamaicans... Not necessarily Jamaicans today, but 20 years ago, Jamaica was, and even longer than that, 25 years ago, the Jamaica that I know was pretty homophobic. And as a result, the, the music would be anti-gay the mannerisms the discussions would it would all be it would be homophobic and that was the culture you know so people a lot of people didn't even know why they were that way but that was the way they were um, the the individual growing up in uh, a particular church that has a particular practice they will always do it because that's how they're conditioned so that's that's just pretty much how social norms would affect individuals and with prejudices and 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 discriminatory behavior you can find things like that happening also now the Minard, or Minard, in 1952, investigated how social norms influence prejudice and discrimination. The behavior of black and white miners in a town in the southern United States was observed, both above and below ground. Below ground, where the social norm was friendly behavior towards were colleagues, 80 of the white miners 
were friendly towards black miners. Uh, or, well, 80%. Above ground, where the social norm was prejudiced behavior by whites to blacks, that 80 dropped to 20. What conclusion did they get from this? Well, the white miners were conforming to different norms above and below the ground. As simple as that. Whether or not prejudice is shown depends on the social context which, within which the behavior takes place. Pettigrew in 1959 also investigated the role of conformity in prejudice. He investigated the idea that people who tended to be more conformist would also be more prejudiced and found this to be true of white South African students. Similarly, he accounted for the higher levels of prejudice against black people in the southern United States than in the northern in terms of greater social acceptability of this kind of prejudice in the south. And a lot of that still exists today in 2020. You know, we, we earlier this year, um, we saw the lynching, because I, I don't know how else to describe it, um, of Ahmad. And it, it didn't become a thing until the video came out. But it had been talked about before. And other cases, you have the, and this has a little bit of age to it now, you have Trayvon Martin. You have uh, Sandra Bland. You know, so these are all cases in the southern states where um, Philando Castile, where you could say race plays a role. So, you know, prejudices and discrimination. And you find it happening a lot. Um, a few weeks ago, I came across an, an article in New York. Funny enough, you know, they talked about southern states and northern states. Here we go. It, it doesn't, well, it gets a little bit more northern than New York, but... Uh, here you are in New York. You have parts of New York where uh, law enforcement were handing out masks and gloves and bottles of water and such to residents of the community. And in another community, they were patrolling and arresting and harassing the residents. The difference is one community was black and one community was white, predominantly. So, you can guess which one was which. <laughs> but these things happen still today. A study by Rogers and France in 1962 found that immigrants to Rhodesia, now Zimbabwe, became more prejudiced the longer they had been in the country. They gradually conformed more to prevailing cultural norms of prejudice against the black population. Go figure. So, conformity to social norms then may offer an explanation for prejudice in some cases. At the same time, norms change over time. So this can go some way towards explaining prejudice. Now, to me, what that says is because norms can change, that means we have control over some of the actions in our communities. So if we're in a community where the norm is to tell children that they can't speak around adults. And we start saying, wait, hold on. 
let's give the children a time to speak versus saying they cannot speak. We, give, we say, let's give them a time to speak. And then we say, let's give them a little more time to speak. And then we say, all right, let's remove the restrictions and all they have to do is ask to speak. You see how that can change the behavior of a community that can change the mindset of a society because now not to say that it happened would happen overnight but over time you implement these gradual changes what you'll find happening is the people that would generally say this is the norm would end up becoming fewer for a few reasons you have a change of mind there are some people that because or studies show that because people people will hold on to a certain mindset mindset in their late teen early adolescent early adulthood years and whatever it is that they form as their ideology is what they would pretty much hold on to for the majority of their adult's life. But later on, they might change because sometimes they, uh, they just can't bother to fight the fight. So they just go whatever the flow is at the time. And what we find happening is because trends tend to go like waves. That that trend that they were a part of now ends up not being the crest but the trough and so they are not they don't have the energy to fight so they just conform so that now is one way that you have the changing of the guard so to speak the changing of the the, the mindset and now you also have some of these older people dying Literally. So, whereas they may have taught the generation be coming up behind them some of their beliefs, the generation coming up behind them also had their own beliefs. And as a result, come with their modifications. Now, again, this could go either way. It could go negative, it could go positive. But if the idea is that is being introduced is one to change the mindset. And the example I gave was a mindset of allowing children to speak in groups where adults are. Then over time, what you have is that the younger, you'll find younger and younger groups coming up with ideas, not just having opinions, but expressing ideas which oftentimes are excellent because if there's one thing that 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 we over time learn is that that new thing that we're interested in really is an old thing just brought and presented in a new way typically because what we find with people is they gravitate towards things that they can relate to so they gravitate towards the familiar what they also like new so it is that same thing but presented in a new way and that's what the youth would bring so Using my example of allowing the youth to speak, that, that is what it brings. That novelty to that thing that was always there. Because there's no, there no a new way to present it. So this is how you can change the mindset of a people. And as we're looking at prejudices and, and, and discrimination... 
when it comes to social norms, we can fix that. It was done in 1994 with the abolition of apartheid in South Africa. And we see where it, it changed the whole country. Now, not to say that prejudices still don't exist. It's not to say that discrimination doesn't exist. But just to say, we can change it. We're going to take a quick little break. When we come back, we talk a little bit more. We, we look at some of the types of prejudices and stereotyping and categorizing and how to reduce it. We'll look into some of these things when we come back and throughout the remainder of the show. Call a friend, tell a friend. It's a night shift with DJ Kevin Stew. We are on until midnight Eastern time. Musical therapy will be coming up a little bit later. So don't worry, don't stress, don't fret. We'll be right back. Quantry Media Group, innovative streaming and recording, has done it again. A new way to get your business in full view of your neighborhood consumer through AdShare TV. It's available in your neighborhood today. It's easy. Just call us. 754-999-6020. Become a host today and place a TV monitor in a strategic location so it's easy to see. Get a one-minute video ad or longer that plays anywhere in our network. Can't be a host? No problem. For a few dollars, we'll run your 30-second video ad. A host can run announcement specials like buy one get one free or discount ads. Let's turn your flyers into a 30 second video with music or a voiceover or let us create and run your video ad with a spokesperson. Take advantage of our early enrollment discount. Join us today. Your ad will be seen at least 30 times per day in your AdShare TV neighborhood. It's easy. Just call us 754-999-6020. AdShare TV, part of Pulse Media Group. Thompson. I am David Muir. And we are the co-founders of a cultural nonprofit in Florida called Island Space. For many reasons, now more than ever, we need the support of our communities. As Caribbean Americans, we have the unique ability to claim everyone from the island as members of our Caribbean American family. We are working to create a home for that family. The Island Archives will become an internationally recognized museum of history. Where visitors can learn that although we are unique, we are truly stronger together. Learn more at islandspacefl.org. Today in school, I learned a lot. In chemistry, I learned that no one likes me. In English, I learned that I'm disgusting. And in physics, I learned that I'm a loser. Today in school, in math, I learned that I'm ugly and useless. And in gym, in biology, I learned that I'm pathetic that I'm fat, and a joke. In history, I learned school, that I'm trapped. Today in school, I learned that I have no friends. In English, I learned that I make people sick. And, in and at lunch, I learned that I sit I on my own because I smell. And in, in chemistry, I learned that no one In biology, me. I learned that I'm fat and stupid. In English, and in I math, learned that I, I learned that I'm trash. The only thing I didn't learn in school today... The only thing I didn't learn today... The only thing I didn't learn... Is why no one ever helps. Kids witness bullying every day. They want to help, but they don't know how. Teach them how to stop bullying and be more than a bystander at stopbullying.gov. A message from the Ad Council. It takes an entire village to raise a child. Hello, I'm Paul Campbell, here to talk about Palace. Peace and Love Academic Scholarship. This nonprofit group supports students facing serious obstacles from entering or continuing their studies, not because the grades are failing, but due to the lack of of financial support. Over the past eight years, Palace has awarded 600 scholarships 
valued at approximately 50.3 million Jamaican dollars or 415,000 US dollars. Together, we must build a better future for our children. Please visit www.palace1.org and make your donation to brighten the future of a deserving child. Palace, preserving young minds for posterity. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is working to help keep you and your community safe from the threat of novel or new coronavirus. Take the following everyday steps to help avoid the spread of all respiratory viruses. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Cover your cough or sneeze with a tissue. Throw the tissue away and then wash your hands. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Clean and disinfect frequently touched objects or surfaces, such as remote controls and doorknobs. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. And stay home if you are sick. Call your health care provider if you develop fever, cough, or difficulty breathing. For more tips, visit cdc.gov. Hey, yo, this is Karamanti letting you know that right about now you are logged on to DJ Kevin Stew on the night shift. Don't move. Hey, yo, this is Karamanti letting you know that right about now you are logged on to DJ Kevin Stew on the night shift. Don't move. Back to the show. It's on of Carpet Face and Jimmy Lyons. A track called Human. I am human, you are too. I want to say thanks to Althea and her healing heavenly hands for sponsoring this segment of the show. Althea is who's a licensed massage therapist. Licensed massage therapist, operating out of Broad County. North Miami Deed and South Palm Beach counties also. She comes to you, brings her table, her oils, and her healing heavenly hands. Give her a call 954-655-9000 or reach out to her by email theolita at att.net Set up your appointment You know, 
things are opening up again. And there, there are lots of stressed out people out there. Call her up. Arrange your massage. But you're getting yours after I get mine. Likely duo, but magical nonetheless. Carpet Face and Jimmy Lyons. It's called Human. So, we're talking about prejudices and discrimination. And uh, we, we got pretty much a, a decent overview of, of, well, a pretty good overview of what discrimination is and what pre- being prejudice is. And the difference between the two, pre- being prejudiced, is, is having the attitude. Uh, discriminating is putting action to that attitude. So you have the mindset. No, you're putting action to that mindset. You're acting out on it. That's discrimination. Prejudice is just having the mindset. So you, 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 you don't have to be discriminatory to be prejudiced. And... You know, the majority of us, I would say, we are prejudiced. You know, we uh, we prefer being with members of our own groups. That's a prejudiced type of behavior because it comes from the mindset. Prejudice can have a strong influence on how people behave and interact with others, particularly with those who are different from them. Speaking of others, if you want to chime in and be a part of this, you have your options. You can Skype in, Kevin, that's you, if you live in faraway places. You can call in, 773-789-STEW, 773-789-7839. You can also use that same number and connect with me by WhatsApp. You can jump into the stew pot, which is what I highly recommend. Jumping into the stew pot on kevinstew.com and it's where we keep things bubbling you're wondering what the stew pot is it's what others call a chat room but we we're fancy we call it the stew pot prejudice is a baseless and usually negative attitude towards members of a group common features of prejudice include negative feelings stereotyped beliefs and a tendency of a tendency to discriminate against members of of the group while specific definitions of prejudice given by social scientists often differ most agree that it involves prejudgments that are usually negative about members of a group when people hold prejudicial attitudes towards others they tend to view everyone who fits into a certain group as being all the same they paint every individual who holds a particular characteristic or belief with a very broad brush and they fail to really look at each person as a unique individual like we had mentioned earlier Prejudices can be based on a number of factors, which include sex, race, age, sexual orientation, nationality, socioeconomic status, and religion. Some of the most well-known types of prejudice would include racism, sexism, classism, homophobia, nationalism, religious prejudice, ageism, and xenophobia. When prejudice occurs, stereotyping, discrimination, and bullying may also result. It's not a given that it's going to happen, but it may also happen. And in many cases, prejudices are based on stereotypes. A stereotype is just a a simplified assumption about a group based on prior experiences or beliefs. Now, 
stereotypes can be positive that like for example women are warm and nurturing or they can be negative Say, like saying teenagers are lazy stereotypes can not only lead to faulty beliefs but they can also result in both prejudice and discrimination so it's not that prejudicing being prejudiced and 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 discriminating cause stereotypes but the other way around because you're stereotyping now you end up being dis discriminatory or prejudicial according to psychologist Gordon Allport prejudice and stereotypes emerge in part as a result of normal human thinking yes uh, he did say normal in order to make sense of the world around us, it is important to sort information into mental categories. The human mind must think with the aid of categories. Allport explained in his book, The Nature of Prejudice. All formed categories are the, the, the basis for normal prejudgments. We cannot possibly avoid this process. Orderly living pretty much depends on it. And we touched on this last week when we were looking at cognitive biases and heuristics. So basically, we depend on our ability to place people, ideas, and objects into different categories in order to make the world simpler and easier to understand. We are simply inundated with too much information to sort through all of it in a logical, methodical, and rational fashion. Being able to quickly categorize information allows us to interact and react quickly, but it also leads to mistakes. Prejudice and stereotyping are two examples of the mistakes, the mental mistakes that result from our tendency to quickly categorize information in the world around us. In fact, according to an article in Current Directions in Psychological Science, prejudice comes from a deep psychological need where people who aren't comfortable with ambiguity are prone to make generalizations about others. The process of categorization applies to the social world as well as we, as we sort people into mental groups based on factors such as age, sex, race. Researchers have found that when it comes to categorizing information about people, we tend to minimize the differences between people in certain groups and exaggerate the differences between the groups. In one classic experiment, participants were asked to judge the height of people shown in photographs. People in the experiment were told that in this booklet, the men and women are, to actually, are actually of equal height. We have taken care to match the heights of the men and women that are pictured. That is, for every man of our, every woman of a particular height, somewhere in the booklet, there's also a man of that same height. Therefore, in order to make as accurate a height judgment as possible, try to judge each photograph as an individual case. Do not rely on the person's sex. In addition to these instructions, a $50 cash prize was offered to whoever made the most accurate judgments of height. Now, despite this, participants consistently rated the men as being a few inches taller than the women. Because of their prejudgment that men are taller than women, the participants were unable to dismiss their existing categorical beliefs about men and women in order to judge the heights accurately. See? Prejudgment. 
Researchers have also found that people tend to view members of outside groups as being more homogeneous than members of their own group. A phenomenon known or referred to as the outgroup homogeneity bias. Homogeneity bias. Um, that just now was known as being tongue tied. Now, the outgroup homogeneity bias perception is that all members of an outgroup are alike. And that holds true of all groups, whether based on race, nationality, religion, age, or other naturally occurring group affiliation. And we are all guilty of doing that. Basically, people tend to see individual differences among members of their own groups, but they tend to see those who belong to out groups as being all the same. So, you will find, let's go with what we know, nationalities. You'll find that Jamaicans will often refer to the motto of the country, out of many, one people. And you'll find everybody else saying, using statements like, typical Jamaican. Or Jamaicans are this way. Or Jamaicans do this. It doesn't really matter that not all Jamaicans do it. One case is someone had asked me if I was Jamaican. Because I don't sound like a Jamaican. I don't talk like a Jamaican. And... As I asked the question, okay, what do you mean? You, they said, you speak English. I said, yeah, because we're an English-speaking country. But that's not talking Jamaican. Uh, and I had to correct them and say, hey, don't get it twisted. You're saying I'm not using the Jamaican dialect called Patwa. If that is what you want, we can do that. It's not hard for me to do that. I grew up, I do that. And they were like, oh yeah, that. That, 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 that right there. What did you just say? And I said, that's it right there. Now, if I were to speak to you in Patwa, you wouldn't understand. So why would you want me to talk in Patwa to prove that I'm Jamaican to you? For what? If we're having a discussion, I have to meet you where you are so that you can understand me. It doesn't mean that I'm not Jamaican. So to classify me because of the way I speak, then, so perfect example of how we put people in groups and just come up with a general stereotype. Now, we can, like I said before the break, we can change these things. There are things that we can do to change them. In addition to looking at the reasons why prejudice occurs, researchers have also explored different ways that prejudice can be reduced or even eliminated. Training people to become more empathic to members of other groups is one method that has shown a considerable success. By imagining themselves in the same situation, people are able to think about how they would react and gain a greater understanding of other people's actions. That is where you look at things like the motto on my website, having acceptance through enlightenment. That is em empathy encompasses that. Or that encompasses empathy. <laughs> you know, it is putting yourself there, feeling what others are feeling. 
experiencing what others are experiencing. Maybe not necessarily um, literally, but being able to put yourself in their position. Other techniques that are used to reduce to reduce prejudice include passing laws and regulations that require fair and equal treatment for all groups of people, like the ab abolition of apartheid. Gaining public support and awareness for anti-prejudice social norms. Making people aware of the inconsistencies in their own beliefs, like things that I would do here, especially on Real Talk. But throughout all the shows on a night shift, there are aspects of this being done. Increased contact with members of other social groups. That also helps. You know, we have a tendency to live in bubbles, so to speak. The whole group idea you know, being in this group and that is the group that matters. Your own group. And and that is fine because that is how we have all grown up. We're conditioned to be that way. So I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. In As it relates to this, there's no right or wrong. 773-789 still gets you in touch. 773-789-7839. That's the phone number. So I'm not saying there's a right or a wrong. It's just a matter of understanding. And that is where we fail to connect. We fail to connect that way with our children. We fail to connect that way with our peers. We fail to connect that way with our partners. We just fail to connect. We don't understand. We don't understand where they're coming from. Because... Here we go again. We fail to effectively communicate. So, what do we have happening here? We have a group over here that is saying, hey, that group over there, they are barbaric. They have no morals. They are just absolutely the worst. We, we need to avoid them. As a matter of fact, we should probably get rid of them. Now what do you find happening? War. Because this group is saying that that group is so vile and vicious and we should just wipe them off the face of the earth because they serve no purpose, no positive purpose. Guess what? Those people over there in that group are probably saying the same thing about our group. The problem is we don't really know anything about that group and they don't know anything about us. So the, 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 the mindset <laughs> is now that of the individual the most influence in, in either of the groups because they have influence. So people will listen to them. No, people listen to them. People are end up being led by a, a conforming to a, 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 pot, a general mindset. It becomes a social norm as a result of influence. You see the connection? Now, imagine this. That most influential person from that group comes over to my group and the most influential person from my group goes over to their group in an exchange program. What then happens? One of two things. Either the members of this group just going to all lynch that one influential person or likewise the other group or they're going to listen to what the individual has to say. There was, where was it? In Israel, 
I believe. So the Israelis and the Iraqis didn't have much of a, of a, well, their relationship weren't on the best of terms. And there was a guy that started on social media just saying, you know, I like Iraqis. And people were like, wait, what? What do you mean? And that started a movement because now you had some Iraqis that had Israeli friends but didn't want to admit to it. And you had Ira Israelis that had Iraqi friends that didn't really want to admit to it. And now they started admitting to it because one person stepped out and started to say, hey, you know what? These people are not, not much different from me. Tell me some things about you while I tell you some things about me. And they started sharing things. And, they, and then they went, oh, wait, we have similar likes. Wait, I do that too. And they realized that they had so much more in common that they, than they didn't. What do you find happening is that the groups started being less discriminatory toward each other. Because they found that they had so much more in common. It's like there were some people that initially thought Jamaica was only a place where people walked around in grass skirts and lived in thatch huts. Then they visited Jamaica and their minds were blown. So they decided, hey, I'm going to leave where I live and come to live in Jamaica because it is the most wonderful place. In fact, it's beyond wonderful, it's tutorful. I know stories of these personally. So, it's not to say that we can't make a change. We can always change. As a matter of fact, you've heard me say this before. And I will say it again and again and again and again. Anything that is not changing is stagnant. Whatever is stagnant is dead. With growth comes change. So, in order to grow, we need to change and not be stagnant. If we're not growing, we're not changing, we're stagnant, we're dead. Who wants to keep friends with dead things? Nobody particularly likes it. Unless you talk to spirits. Which makes you wonder, okay, if it is a spirit and you're communicating with it, is it dead? Things that make you go, hmm, we're going to take a little break. When we come back, you know what? I think I'm going to do an extended musical therapy. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm going to do an extended musical therapy tonight. When we come back, we go into musical therapy. All right. Cool. We're taking a quick break. We'll be right back. Matthew 28, 19 says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations. With this in mind and encouragement received during a South Florida media conference, the church links was birthed. The Church Links is an interdenominational worship service portal for churches, providing the tools to spread the word through technology in a cost-effective way. The Church Links www.dahchurchlinx.com Your links to worship and praise. Smile? Oh, honey, he's still not smiling. Maybe he's not a smiler. Yeah, maybe he's just not a happy baby. Maybe he's just being a boy. Or maybe he's teething. Maybe it's just a phase. Maybe he has autism, and we can definitely do something to help. 
Maybe is all you need to find out more about autism. No big, joyful smiles by six months is one early sign. Learn the others at AutismSpeaks.org slash signs. Brought to you by Autism Speaks and the Ad Council. A social distancing tip. While the CDC urges you to avoid close contact, like hugging or shaking hands, there are other non-physical ways to say hello. Wave, wink, use sign language, salute, smile, give the peace sign, throw up an air high five, do jazz hands. Remember, stay a minimum of six feet or two arms length away from others and stay home if you can. For more info, visit coronavirus.gov. Let's all do our part because we're all hashtag alone together. Brought to you by the Ad Council. Greetings and salutations, one and all. You are invited to tune in to the Night Shift with DJ Kevin Stu. It airs on Mondays with Community and Finance, Tuesdays with Healthy Love, and Wednesdays with Real Talk from 10 p.m. to midnight Eastern Time. Come spend some time interacting in the stew pot where we keep things bubbling and wind down in musical therapy. The Night Shift with DJ Kevin Stu is on kevinstew.com where you're encouraged to have acceptance through enlightenment. Silence, no work, no more. Where are the leaders that guided us before? Yo, this is Christina Listen. I want to pick up DJ Kevin Stew. Yo, always playing the best. So make sure you tune in. Make sure you always stay current with DJ Kevin Stew. Enough love. Freedom fighters. Where are the freedom fighters?
down. That was the sound of Christina Alicia. That what goes up. A track called Freedom Fighters. This is Ed Robinson. But when it goes around, the more we are together. Back around. So if you're digging one bit, my brother, better you just dig two. I want to thank Radio Global Entertainment for sponsoring this segment of the show. Set another one for you. Don't you know things are always never what they see? No, my reality could sometimes be your... Reggae Global Entertainment takes care of your bookings. We are together, but Your tour management. Your copyrights, your publishing, your trademarks. Music production. As a matter of fact, this track is a reggae global entertainment production. We stand together, the stronger we shall be. Instead of building walls, let's build bridges. Get him a call, 954-998-8034. That's 954-998-8034. Tomorrow's for me yeah. The light has been shining for you Don't be so blind to see yeah. Things are always never what they see No, my reality could sometimes be your dream oh, The more we are together, together. The happier we shall be Funny thing about growth. When you're looking at it in the perspective of compare and contrast with growth and stagnant, being stagnant. It is finding that thing that you can grow with. It's finding that piece of you that you can develop and having those around you to develop along with you so it's easy to get comfortable it's easy to get complacent it's easy to to get into a groove and stick to that groove and that becomes your little safe thing to do we do it all the time and we don't realize that we're doing it just like studying for an exam is an intentional thing and in studying for that exam you're growing because you're learning the same way we can apply that to how we view prejudices how we look at discrimination how we look at ourselves in whatever aspect of our lives it's growing and that comes with learning, learning more about ourselves, learning more about our environment, learning more about how we interact with each other. And in that learning process, there is and growing process, there is pain. There is not knowing, the unknown, there is fear. But through all that comes knowledge. And when you have knowledge, then the fear kind of goes away depending on how you look at it because now you see that you're aware if it's something that is dangerous now you become aware of the danger you're not really you're not really afraid of it but you're aware of it so you apply judgment and you realize that hey listen this thing is dangerous so whereas i may not be afraid of it i'm aware of the danger of it so i avoid it See the difference? Yeah. This is Cesar. Oh. It's called One. New music from him. I'm so proud of this guy. Is it getting better? What do you feel? 
I knew this guy before he knew anything about music. Can't wait to talk to him again. saying you know this 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 is our guy his voice sounds kind of familiar I know the song sounds familiar yeah it's U2's not YouTube but U2's <laughs> one <laughs> Just to give you another song that Cesar did some time ago. Yep, this is Cesar.
watch over me with that red and star As I travel these streets they For the Hezites This is Hezron New music from him called Resilience those dearest to me with a ready sword Let no harm come to them from the enemies Many said there's no God So they infiltrate and manipulate the simple and innocent Their sinful cause they want us to accept. I stand, I stand resilient. I know. I know. Every knee shall bow and every tongue confess. I stand resilient. Oh, she said it. One of my words goes In a life, you have to know if you play ball. Not even like the terminology. Not like how we sound at all. Them say you can't reach nowhere if them no sign it all. Me, I feel love to myself. <laughs> like a damn name, God. Times, but my faith, Lord, it never stumble. You say the little what the righteous have Better than the riches of the wicked Not one of your seas shall sit by the sidewalk and be I stand resilient.
wake up this morning Never live to see today Oh, oh. the okay. ones who never <laughs> need yet a warning Never live to see today This is on a Phil Watkins Give a lot of families fall Track called Today Live to see today South Florida native. So if you live to see another day, I tell you, don't forget to pray. Jaja bless you with his mercy. Another chance to right the wrongs from the choices that you've made. Love will guide you upon your journey. Life is much better when you know what it's worth. Let every step count, let every move work. Here today, tomorrow, say your day and a leader. So set your mind and good living. With that you be flirt Waste your day seeking vanity Flesh thing now go work Walk fast from don't leave it He wrote that you no feeler It best to wear a smile than to wear a dirty smirk Remember we put judge at first A lot of people never wake up this morning Never live to see today Oh, The ones who never hear judge a warning Never live to see today Boy, let's leave a lot of families And praise, we still fortunate Work a breeze, spread the message Cause we still have blow breath Life, no promise on the road Where we check, but Jaja never failed me yet Rise up in the morning giving thanks With life, I have a special romance Me and good health a slow dance Thank you Ja, for giving me an extra chance You see the sun, you feel the breeze, you feel the forest no take life for granted You live another day of a million no morning As sure as come on. A lot of people never wake up this morning Never live to see today Oh, The ones who never hear judge a warning Never live to see today Boy, let's leave a lot of families falling Never live to see This morning, never live to see today. Oh, the ones who never hear judge a warning, never live to see today. Pray upon it, pray upon it. Don't you ever walk away from it. Another South Florida native for you. The triggerific one, the Twiggy. Encouraging someone right now. Pray upon it. Stay. Pray. Don't quit. Don't give up. You know, sometimes you're doing some things and you feel like you want to give up because you're not getting anywhere. So you say don't give up. Yeah, that's what you are ordained to do. I've been doing this for 10 years now because this is what I was ordained to do. The night shift to DJ Kevin Stew. Don't you ever walk away from it Don't you ever walk away from it 
of people supporting you as you stay and you stick to it, to that, that thing that you do. I have so much to share and so people like you guys that send me messages every now and then, you, you, that share the posts, that comment. I just want to say thank you. For the ones in the background that say, hey, listen. You didn't know I was listening that time, but... Yeah, well, you know, you kind of good at what you do. Don't ever stop. I tell you all, thank you. The son of Anne-Marie. I just love these South Florida natives. In the midst of it all, there are sometimes those people that, you, you know, you just, you're more grateful to tell them goodbye than to say thank you. But still you say thank you for what you've done, you know. But you know, you just kind of have to part ways. King Charles. It's called Move On. If me never break away, I go make away. Me know me aunt would have burn up like a crane. But name me, I know Superman. Me not go save your day. You should have listened to the words me say. So me tell you, say, be move on. And me say, don't come back, you know. You only love me cause you know anything shot, you know. Move on, me should have never tied in at you know. Yeah, your purpose in this life like a pot, you know. move on, is not what it used to be. Mark, you know. You know that uh, I'm now seeing what you're here for. Because you don't know who you want to be. It a go bon. You should have never this the eye. You know you see. It a go bon. You just want to say you're good because of me. It a go bon. I know me naggy. You no know apology because you never love me and me now. But it come me like you never really know to make it show. Well, watch you now, my girl. You're too slow. But I just saw the story go. So me tell you, say, move on. And me say, don't come back, you know. Say no, no, when you hear me 
what you know Move up on me said don't come back you know You only love me cause you know the thing shot you know Get a little more Ed Robinson for you. Wanted to say thanks to GMAT Music Solutions for sponsoring this segment of the show. GMAT Music Solutions takes care of your sound, lights, stage production services, musical equipment, musicians, singers, audio engineers, DJs, bands, PA systems. They bring your event to life. Get my call at 754-307-GMAC at 754-307-4622 or visit them at gmacmusicsolutions.com where you can also do your online shopping. This is Stranded, Ed Robinson. All those people that you have to tell to move on. You kind of have to be careful of your sneezing these days. Love that little part where he goes, the water, water. Yeah. Drummers become show hosts. <laughs> Drummers become broadcasters. Son of Ed Robinson is called Stranded. You know, I'll tell you all this. This extended musical therapy, it's Marlon's fault. So I go from one Ed Robinson to another. Listen, I could play Ed Robinson tunes all night. Enough. His catalogue, his catalogue, his catalogue. So long. This is Ed channeling his inner Tosh. The virus tune. Since that day you came on this earth, you cause us pain, you make us hurt. Yes, we've been blind, but now the world can 
how many people you can compare to this virus you know, listen to Ed describe it and then think about some of the people that you have come across in your lifetime and think of some of the things that you said to them and what Ed is saying to this virus you like an evil spirit you locked us down we could not make <laughs> that's it, 1320. That's a good word. Covicious 19. Our doctors and nurses, your respect is still. Till that day when we can congregate, keep on share this love, but let the virus kill the hate. So until then, let's chant Dotty Virus. I hope you know we have some more class. Confucius 19. You think we can stop us from putting them together? Dotty Virus. I know for sure some mainstream wordlings won't play this one on their radios. But who round ya care? We never need them then. So we don't need them now. Hey fool, but us yo. A long time you remind we are these germs, yeah. Don't the virus, yeah. Oh, you want me to call your right name? Confucius 19, yeah. Now I'm interested in remembering your name. Don't the virus, yeah. Your friends swine uh. flu, too. Confucius 19, yeah. We are trying to draw But I'm not want to fight that cause I'm a feed them at a bus Why this stimulus package for the crime where you rise This is Mr. Vegas on the same rhythm That's the title of the track right there I get a beaten I want to thank y'all for hanging out with me Beaten The wicked them I get a beaten this is musical therapy. Them never wanna fight the crime out. Give us guns, then come with them line out. No, them a pay the price, but my money to the they can't buy out. So wanna move, come out of the way. Get 
them beat and stay far Cause you know one get the same treatment Watch you wicked them around alive You know see them whole world are capsized Look like you never realize There's some big fool them are going like Say them wise Oh, oh my belly we are young This is another guy with a lengthy catalog. Hezzy, maximum speed. Hear it. Session stop, everything jump. My baby just takes me a pitch up on the WhatsApp. Oh, she feel do something like that. Alright, so I have 10 minutes to go. Oh boy. What, what, can I, what else can I squeeze in in this time? How much can I squeeze in into 10 minutes? Let's see. I haven't played this one in a while. I just wanna hold you right now. Oh, baby. Come on, oh, Kevin. Kevin. Oh, Kevin. This rendition of my, my, my. you do. It doesn't really matter that I have the sight of Stevie Wonder, you look great. Okay, Jadan, Corey, Car, Enzo. 
let me squeeze in one of those for you. Here's, a, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna toss this Jadon in here just like this. I won't even mix it, I'll just breathe it right in. Jadon. This was the tune that introduced me to Jadon. You know, say love for the Rasta you have for your endless. Better never. I look at you. I look at For all the empresses out there. I know you would love the Congo Bongo. You never know you didn't know. The far from the day she link with Jadon She says she love her Rastafari She never know you would have loved the Congo Bongo She never know you would have loved the Farai Look ya no, oh, oh look ya Yes I, it's a boy Jadan Congo Bongo himself And I and I represent for Kevin Stew on the night shift City in and Kamola vibes Yes I, Jadan Empress I look ya no You never know you would have loved the Congo Bongo You never know you would have loved the far right Okay five minutes to go I wanna say thank you all She says she love our Rasta far right But I'll say it later on never know you would have loved the Congo Bongo In a few minutes You never know you would have loved the far right from the day she link with Iman She said she love her Rastafari She tell me she like everything she see na Iman she want Every second out of me time And she would have give me anything Although she no mind man And this spice of me give her she have a mind fan So me take her to the river that's how with the bad man In the hills we go links brain brain bubble man in my be You never know you would have loved the Congo Bongo You never know you would have loved the far right From the day she link with Jordan She said she love her Rastafari You never know you would have loved the Congo Bongo You never know you would have loved the far right From the day she link with Iman I'll stop teasing you She love her Rastafari She tell me Say she love Rastafari aye. And she tell her say she have something far aye. And of them can't believe If a Congo Congo have a rope and a squeeze All of a sudden she no want no red meat As quickly I tell true Or some greens She a tell her about the coconut with the beef Thank you each and everyone for tuning in this week Again apologize for last night Never know she would have loved the Congo Congo you never know you love but we made up for it tonight in more ways than one, didn't we? She link with Jordan. She said she love our Rastafari. Reminding you to look out for members of your community. Your community is not just the development that you live in, but it spreads far and wide. Especially with the advent of the internet. Link with Iman. She said she love our Rastafari. You never know. So the people that you pass on the bus, on the plane, on the boat, on the train, whether you're doing it frequently or not, or you see many of them or just a few, these are members of your community. Do do something for one of them today because you never know who's going to do something for you tomorrow. My name is DJ Kevin Stewart, so I like to do it to you, for you, and with you every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, 10 p.m. till midnight Eastern time. Listen, right here, kevinstew.com. Remember it. If you can't remember it, write it down. I've been really trying, baby. 
trying to hold back this feeling. This is all I'm gonna leave you tonight. And if you feel like I feel, baby, then come on. Oh, come on. Woo! Let's get it on. The unofficial remix, John and Marie working out with Marvin Gaye. Encouraging you all to be good. If you all can't be good, go ahead and be good at it. This is Joanna Marie, and it's all about DJ Kevin's too on the night shift. Hmm, you feel for some stew? Check out Kevin's too. I'm gonna leave you with tonight. Catch you again on Monday, Community and Finance Night. Good morning, good afternoon, good day to you wherever you are in the world from right here in South Florida. Good night. Consider the ability to share that moment. If you can video it, you can broadcast it. And Pulse eMedia Group has the tools you need. Weddings, birthdays, funerals, graduations, church services, parties, seminars, you name it. Pulse eMedia Group can provide you with a secure medium controlled by you to broadcast your event. Contact us at www.pulseemediagroup.com for more information. Pulse Media Group, when being in the moment is priceless.